the Grand Department is our home in Fairholm Towers. I have to keep me company to catch a dog, a parakeet, some plants and flowers. I help my mother with the chores, I wash and dries and do the floors. We work together. I shop and cook and sew a bit. But among those two, I must admit, I do it better. At night, I work in a strange bar, impersonating every star. It's quite deceiving. The customers come in with doubt and wonder what I'm all about. But leave me leaving. I do a very special show where I interlude from head to toe. After still teasing, each night the men look so surprised. I change my sex before their eyes. Tell me if you know what makes a man a man. Round three o'clock or so I meet some friends to have a bite to eat. And conversation. Talk, we empty out our hearts on every subject from the arts to liberation. We love to pull apart someone, or spread some gossip just for fun, or start a rumor. We let our hair down, so to speak, and mock ourselves with tongue in cheek and inside you. I'm finding fault and calling names, always accusing. They draw attention to themselves, the expense of someone else. So confusing. Yet they make fun of how I talk, they imitate the way I walk. Tell me if you can, what makes a man? As the rain comes to an end, I go home to bed again. Alone and friendless, I close my eyes and think of him and fantasize what might have been. My dreams are endless. We love each other, but it seems love lives only in my dreams. It's so excited, but in this life I must confess. The search for love and happiness is unrequited. Ask myself, have I got what I am and what I'm not? What am I giving? The answers come from those who make the rules that some of us must break just to keep living. I know my life is not a crime. I'm just a victim of my time. I stand defenseless. Nobody has the right to be the judge of what is right for me. Tell me if you can. What makes a man? Bad?